Yeah, you see it, ladies and gentlemen. Ex-cop out of Raleigh, North Carolina. One named Kevin Rodriguez. 33 years old. He was on the Raleigh, North Carolina Police Department for three years. But in 2021, he felt the need to be a super thug. Yeah. He thought he was invisible, too. He was riding around in a cop car making drug deals. You know, dropping off drugs in alleyways. Uh... Making, making big drug deals inside of the cop car. The idiot never stopped and thought like, hey, I got a body camera. Uh, there's cameras inside of the grill of a car too. So when I get out the car, you know, they can see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Like this guy's brain did not go to the top floor. Yeah, the hamster Ben stopped running on the wheel in his brain. Yeah, elevator music comes on when he tends to start to want to think. But all I'm trying to figure out is who, going through the vetting process with the Raleigh Police Department, like nobody, nobody, like, stopped and thought, like, hey, this guy, he's not fit for this. Nah, this is not his forte right here. He's, he's not built to do this. Nobody noticed that? Nobody never talked to maybe any of his former, like, his like teachers from high school or anything or you know you know i know he couldn't have went to college yeah because that that he couldn't have made it to that level like yeah and, and if he did he probably made it for like not even a semester maybe one month but anyway so he's riding around raleigh and he's selling drugs and i want to know what part of the movie that he thought he was just going to make it way clean like doing this like how long did he think he was going to get away with selling drugs out of the cop car in Raleigh. Like, nobody was going to call in on him. You know, Kevin Rodriguez is a dream for a snitch. Better yet, he's like the wet dream for a snitch. I know, like, the, the snitch couldn't wait to snitch on him. Like, he just couldn't wait. He would probably, the snitch would probably like run ass naked to the police department because he knew he had a good snitchable person. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> yeah, but I can't make this story up. This shit is real. You can look it up, man. Like when I read it, I literally cracked my side laughing at it because I said, wait a minute. That sounds like a well over exaggerated line from your favorite hip hop artist. Like, yeah, I'm riding around in a cop car and I'm dropping off weight and I'm shooting my gun and I'm busting it. Well, I ain't a rapper, but you see what I'm saying? Like, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a line from a rap artist. It sounds like a whole video shoot for a rap artist. Like, just over dramatic. Like, this is like too dramatic to the point that it's stupid. Like, yeah, like, if I'm trying to figure out with Kevin Rodriguez, if you wanted to be like a thug, you know, you want to be a drug dealer, uh, drug dealers, when they see cop cars, they run. But you were in the cop car selling drugs out of the window. Yeah, you were going in alleyways with the cop car running, cameras on, body cam on you, camera on the grill. Like, if you just wanted to go to jail, Kevin, you, I mean, you should have just walked to the Wake County Jail. Yeah, just go in there with the cocaine and say, here I am. I'll talk to the judge later. Like, that's it. Or you could have just got, you, when, you, you should have just sat in the back seat, got on your, got on your walkie-talkie and said, hey, I got cocaine. You know I got the gun. I'm in the back seat. Um, yeah, here I am. And I got all the money sitting beside me from my deals earlier this week. And you should have just sat there and waited for them. You had the cuffs. You should have sat in the back. You could have put the cuffs on yourself and sat in the back seat and waited patiently while they came. And then, then another officer could have just got in the front seat and drove your ass off. Because pretty much, if your brain was working, that's what you did, Kevin Rodriguez. You, you pretty much handed yourself over 
attention to Riley from Mr. Barbie. <laughs> I bet you, all your partners and buddies at that precinct, I bet when they found out about your dumb ass, I bet you they were laughing their ass off. I can imagine some some days you probably had some guys doing 2021 probably say, hey, 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 what are you doing today on your day off? I don't know. What are you doing? Let's go follow Rod. Let's go follow Rodriguez. And they probably just watch your dumb ass and just laugh the fucking heads off at you. Like you are the stupidest criminal I have ever heard of. And I thought I heard of some dumb shit. <laughs> but you are stupid. Man, when you go while you in jail and you tell somebody your story, man. All the guys are going to give you their snacks. Everybody on the tier in the jail is going to give you their snacks just to hear you tell that story. When they want to laugh and have a good day because, you know, days of people in jail and prison, their days go up and down. So, you know, just your story is going to make them fucking crack their side. They're going to laugh every day. Every time they look at you, they're going to laugh. Like, hey, there goes stupid ass Kevin Rodriguez. Yeah, the cop who was selling drugs from the cop car. <laughs> hey, I can't make this shit up And all that dumb ass shit He's looking at five years to life Jesus Christ man oh, 